call it lucky casting. Over 40 years ago, Bill and Susan Hayes met on the soap opera, Days of Our Lives. Daytime drama became real life romance. Now the super couple takes literary license with a new novel. I can hardly wait to hold you, feel my arms around you. How long I have waited. Musical, handsome, delightful creature came uh, whisking into the rehearsal room, and every woman there thought, oh my, <laughs> oh, I hope I have scenes with him. I, uh, of course, uh, could see uh, that Susan was gorgeous and uh, that uh, immediately discovered that she was an incredible actress and came to admire her in that way. However, I was freshly divorced, and I didn't want to have a relationship. I was not looking for one or even considering one. In fact, if uh, a lady looked at me with goo-goo eyes, I ran the other way at that point. So it was not easy uh, to uh, get close right away for that reason. but. Uh, We've had the most wonderful time together, and I appreciate the first moments as, as the last moments, too. Did you guys get in trouble for dating? No, no, there was no rule against it. <laughs> as a matter of fact, uh, the head writer, Bill Bell, the late, great uh, Bill Bell, lived in Chicago, and he would watch the show in real time like the rest of the audience in the United States, and he saw sparks passing between us before we were aware of it. He threw out, literally threw out the, the whole plot that he had for me and the whole plot he had for Susan and began to write for our characters working together, developed a whole plot for the two of us. It was a very exciting time. The most beautiful star in the world isn't Garble, isn't Dietrich, but the sweet trick who can make me believe it's a beautiful world. Like Sands Through the Hourglass came uh, because a friend of ours took us out to dinner one night and we had a three hour dinner and he said, you know, you have a very unique relationship here and you, people need to know about it. The, the way that you think or the way that you consider relationship or something. And we said, oh yeah, sure, sure. But he, he finally talked us into agreeing with him that it, we might set it down. He said, do you mind if I try to sell it to a publisher? No, we never thought it would happen, but he did. He sold it to a publisher, and they even offered us money to write our <laughs> memoir, which was a nice Fresh surprise. Fresh and exciting, yes. And uh, like Sands Through the Hourglass was a great experience. Maybe the week that it was published in New York, we met with our with our uh, editor there, and she said, you know, you two, with your interest in history and everything, you really ought to do a historical novel. It's a historical fiction. And again, we said, oh yeah, sure, what will we, uh, and finally we came around to think that might be fun. And that was seven years seven before years of, we of, got of fun. <laughs> Trumpet published. It was, we did a we lot worked, of we've research. We've been working on it for seven years. Such an enmeshing experience. Uh, yeah, we rarely it disagreed. Was, it was one Strangely. thing to do a double biography, a memoir, where such and such an event happened, and we saw it, we both agreed, we saw it differently. Okay, you can agree about seeing to something disagree. differently. Yep. But to go into your, your mutual fantasy life, which only you have been experiencing for all those months and all those years, uh, and then to share it with the world. It's, it's been such fun. And all I ask of life is that somebody read this book, somebody read Trumpet and have a little fun with it. For more information about Bill and Susan Hayes and Trumpet, log on to BillAndSusanHayes.com. And that wraps it up for this edition of LA Art. For more arts and culture, visit us online. Until next time, I'm Katie Hall. And I'm Raymond Lee. Thanks for watching.